How many young people ever see the other side of film and television? Millions tune into their favourite shows and turn up to the cinema every week. But only a tiny minority of people have been able to participate in making their favourite art form. It's My Shout is a project aiming to change all of this. A group of young people in Wales have had the chance to be involved in every aspect of the production of six short films. The experience has, for some, radically opened up their horizons. Today we're going to hear from Christy Probert, one of the participants. Hello, my name is Christy Probert and this is my video diary for It's My Shout Film Project. We're here now in Manaby, Tenby, in a field that belongs to my father. And as you can see, we're gypsies. <laughs> I'm a pretty nice guy, I'm funny, I think. Uh, I get on well with people. What have you boys got to say about Christy? Well, he's funny sometimes, and he can be a proper <laughs> Boys, he, no swearing. No swearing, boys, because it's for children as well. I'm also a pretty quiet guy. I don't like, obviously, to get on with, not on with people. I don't like to mix much, if I can help it. I like to keep to myself. Um, I never really learned to read until I was 20, in my 20s and stuff. So I never went to school much when I was really small, being a gypsy, you know. So. Uh, I never really had time for education. I've always had a love for films and stories and stuff like that, so. We've grown to be quite close, myself and Christy. When he first came to the youth theatre, he had no uh, experience or indeed awareness of television, film, or indeed theatre. Uh, and maybe it's helped him to establish uh, uh, a creative sense of purpose to, uh, to his life, which uh, he's utilising now, yeah. If Christy became a filmmaker, would you be happy like for him or what? Yeah. Being a gypsy and stuff, I'm starting to see now I'm getting older how interesting we really are. You know what I mean? We've got we've got culture, we, we belong in this country, uh, we've been here for a long time. And it's never that side, side of the fence is shown, you know, it's always, oh, you know, gypsies, oh, oh, gypsies and stuff, you know. Obviously being a gypsy, I know, I know that side, I know what it's like to be I'll use the word persecuted, you know, and that's literally persecuted. And there's a lot of stuff goes on people don't really know about and stuff. You know, you get accused a lot. How can I say, I'll just demonstrate for you. The other day, a guy came here, stopped on the road, had a look in, drove away. Hour he came back with a police car. They pulled in and the police guy said, you've stolen this guy's dog. Uh, and, you know, why would we want to go and steal a guy's dog? He just lives up there. <laughs> While the police continue their hunt for some guy's dog, Christy continues his hunt for a place on the It's My Shout training scheme. Getting in will mean Christy will be the one to create stories, not just be the subject of them. He'll work with directors and writers who are themselves new to film, as well as other young cast members. The purpose of the scheme is to give as wide a range of experience uh, to as many people as we can. For the young people, uh, it's a first introduction to, to filmmaking, of telling stories through film. I think that's been one of the key areas that we've been able to give uh, practical experiences on set or post-production or indeed pre-production to young people who are coming out of uh, university, film school and drama college as well actually. And it's been fantastic in that many of them have gone on straight away to work on feature films or on television projects. So that goes to show the worth of the scheme, hopefully. It's My Shout is in its fourth year, having started life as a programme for excluded teenagers. Last year it had grown to the production of three short films, ranging from comedy... It's a little known fact that elephants have been known to die standing up. ...to horror... <laughs> ...to toilet humour. Here we see a rare species in the urban toilet jungle. This year it's even bigger. Well, this year we've done six films instead of three films. Uh, we've worked with a wider range of local authorities, um, from Carmarthen and Llanelli in the west uh, to Blaenau Gwent um, in the east. We've got twice as many films and twice as many trainees and twice as many workshops, so it's just been fantastic to sort of work with so many uh, creative and talented young people, basically. So, a great experience for everyone involved, but it can be pretty nerve-wracking, especially for the young cast members who have to audition for the parts they want to play. It's Wednesday, the 5th of um, July, and tonight is the first audition, I, I believe, for the 
the, the film. Just waiting now. I got about waiting to do it. At least Christie's surroundings aren't totally unfamiliar. He's been involved with It's My Shout from the very beginning. He's had acting parts every year with the project since 2003, when he played a murderous vicar in Down. Last year, he wrote and starred in The Ambulance Man, a serious drama about family violence and suicide. He's also a pretty good comedian, though. <laughs> this guy's really my father. Yeah. I'm auditioning for they, uh, they might be giants in ITV Wales, Cardiff. I think it's a sort of, it's about, it's in a school and the kids are sort of the teachers and the teachers are sort of the kids. That's all I know so far. I mean, I've only got a few pages on the script. What Christy does know is important. He doesn't have a lot of time to read the script and think about how he'll play the character he's auditioning for. He need to show the director and the producers that the kind of actor he is will fit with the kind of film they want to make. They Might Be Giants, which was written by Simon Howells, um, is a kind of role reversal film where the kind of older kids who are the teachers, they become the school kids, and the school kids, the youngsters, they become the teachers, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and it's a kind of, the story arc is Warren's struggle with the day, because there's like an inspection at the end of the day. And as the day progresses, he's getting more and more mad and more and more insane. Ready for the inspection today? How am I expected to pass the inspection with that lot? Who? Who? Who do you think? And the, he locks them up in the cupboards because they have an inspection and he doesn't want to like be let down again, otherwise he'll have his job fired. And then there's Jeremy, who doesn't shout at anyone. He doesn't shout at the teachers, he doesn't shout at the children if they do something wrong. I can't help it, they wind me up so much. Relax. Warren, have a bourbon. It's meant to be a little bit of a comedy, but it's quite serious as well. Christy finally gets a call for his audition. He'll now just get a few minutes for the casting team to test out how well he could fill the role. He'll need to show that he can be creative and have ideas about how to play a part, as well as to adapt and respond to direction. He's nervous, but he's going to be great. Come on, come on now, sir! Why should I let you? You never show me any respect. Can you do it again? And just to like use your own voice because it'll be funnier if or if you are actually older than me. Um, uh, we went in. Um, we got, I had to read a part for this sort of kid, Jenkins, and we were trapped in a closet. So we sort of like this teacher's locked us in a closet and stuff like that. And we had to go out and pretend to come in and actually go out and all that. And little kid was was like sort of the teacher. It was really funny. He was you know bossing you about. And yeah, it was it went okay. I mean, it was all right and stuff. So we're still hanging about now, waiting for whatever. I don't know, so many, you know, I, I have no idea, I hope so, because now that you've, I know the script a bit better, because I, I knew the story, but not the sort of the idea of it, because I, I, I tried to play a kid, and they said, no, just be, you know, your age, but obviously a kid. Sir? Jenkins, never stop to do, does it, boy? Always pick it up people who are smaller and weaker than you. No, sir! I was really nervous, really nervous. I always am nervous. You got, you got these producers, man. They're so like, you know, like judges and stuff, you know. And you, you get scared, but you get intimidated. Then you know, they're like sort of they, they're all relaxed, and you're like <sighs> trying to be relaxed, you know. But I'm used to that kind of pressure, you know, being a jailbird. <laughs> Christy got safely through the first round of auditions. The casting team call him back in the afternoon to see him try out for the part a few more times. But he still doesn't know whether he's got the part. It's the day after the first auditions in ITV, and it went okay. I thought it would be really hard, but it was simple enough. I mean, I think the main thing is the, the kids, I think, they need to get those. But it went well, yeah, we got up there late. Um, the auditions went all right. Uh, there was loads and loads of people there, uh, loads of kids and stuff. And uh, 
I was pretty nervous and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, you do these, you know, when you get these producers and stuff there. Um, yeah, I felt okay though, after it was over, it was all right. Um, there's no more that you can say about that. I'm here in a, a landfill site, and not fly tipping, by the way. It's a proper place, you know, you've got to pay for the Because I wouldn't mind playing a part now in this film, you know, so it's a, it's a good little film. You know, the kids got to be the teachers and the teachers of the kids and, and, you know, that kind of thing. Nice weather as well, you know. Whoops, careful, Christy. So, Christy's done the hard bit, but has now got to go through the even harder bit of waiting to find out if he's got the part. After the break, he'll be ripping open either the slim envelope of rejection or the weighty one of acceptance. Just before the break, we left Christian Shaw whether he'd got the part he was auditioning for. Let's find out where he is now. Okay, we're inside the cave right now. They're supposed to lead under the water, under to the castle where someone went. And I'm smoking a cigar, and as every good miner knows, there's a lot of gas in some of these chambers, but this is not a mine, it's a cave. But who the knows? I better put this out. Okay, well, let's give Christy a bit of time to find his way out of the cave. Robbie Brewster's here to tell us about how he first came across him and the other actors. We had quite a lot of uh, workshops uh, with Roger um, based at Pyle. Um, this was very good because it was quite a good uh, learning experience to watch the way Roger warmed the actors up. Uh, with the actors, we began with a series of awareness raising workshops, just telling them what was involved in terms of television and film generally. And then we did more specific workshops in terms of television and film acting and the difference between that and theatre acting. And following on from that, we began to workshopping them with a view to who would be suitable for what parts in which films. And that's when I brought on the directors and some of the writers, in fact. But some characters, I think, came through from day one. And I knew that, you know, those are the actors that I wanted. Thinking about anyone in particular, Robbie, Christy didn't know it, but the casting team liked his friendly exuberance right from the beginning. The part of Jenkins, the likeable bully, seemed almost written for him. Christy's got some good news in the post, but is playing it cool. Just gotten the script. I've gotten the part as um, Jenkins. I got a phone call from uh, Mr. Nell's secretary, Kylie, and she said, you've got the part as Jenkins. So I was, yes, thank you. I don't know if I could have played any other parts because I felt I was a bit bigger than the other guys, more or less, you know, that way. And uh, I felt I, I felt I needed to be Jenkins. The, the character of Jenkins, um, he's kind of a bully boy himself, like Warren was. Um, quite a prominent character within the script. Um, and at first I wasn't too sure whether to cast Christie. Um, but eventually, well, I think it was in ITV when we did the final castings. That's when I saw he had something, which I believe he has. Who come out? Hello? Where should I let you? You never showed me any respect. Well, you never gave us a chance to, did you? He was probably the main character out of the, the older school bullies. Um, I knew I needed someone kind of strong and predominant within it. Um, and someone who looked older as well. So that role reversal kind of thing worked. Um, competition wise, I don't know, he just kind of stood out, I suppose. He's just good, good at what he does. Quite excited, yeah, it's going to be good. I've uh, read for the script, I got a good character, I like the Jenkins, he's sort of like the, the leader of the pack, you know. The, move on away, boys. Just coming through you. That's pretty much how I looked at the end of school, I guess. Hello, can you come pick me up, please? I can see you're going to be out to work. <laughs> Yeah, we're just about to start rehearsal. I'm going to start shooting tomorrow, so... Should be okay. You, you hit me! Can we come out now, sir? Why should I let you? You don't show me any respect. We don't give as much of a chance, do you, no, sir? No, You pick on us all the time, sir, so we pick on you! Yeah. Besides, Skelly's gone really quiet, sir. We know you for ages. <laughs> oh, we'll be good, sir. Promise. It's it's just it's getting difficult to breathe and what to see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Right, I'll let you out, but you all have to be 
you on your best behavior through the inspection. Oh. And you stop terrorizing other people. It's a really good experience working with other people. Um, um, meeting new people and directors getting used to the camera and not be so like nervous. And... Just finished. Just finished rehearsing uh, for the film. We had a little quick rehearsal up in the up top stairs, uh, the closet scene. We were all trapped in it. It was okay. I, I really can't wait. I really can't wait for this bloody thing to start because it's going to be kind of fun, you know. So I get a, I get a chance to play like a bully kid. So that'll be okay. Well, it's half past eight in the morning. And it's the first day of shooting, it's the 3rd of August, 2006, baby. Well, it's half past nine, it is, really. And I just got a missed call, I'm a little late. So, i got to try and hurry up and get there, you know what I mean? But yeah, today's going to be, I mean, it's a lovely day, the weather's nice. And I'm pretty nervous as well, you know. Always do get nervous, always do get nervous, you know what I mean? I could rehearse for a play for, whatever, six months. And on, the, on that night, you know, when you're on the stage, you know, this is it now. This is the this is the real thing, here, baby. You know when that time comes, then the nerves set in. I mean, I could be sick. So I'm nervous now. I'm just coming up by it now. I'm not far away. I'm nervous now. Um, but when I get on set, and they're gonna call action. Woo! I'm gonna try and psych myself up. Woo! <laughs> Christie's method acting extends all the way to being late. What a professional. Things will move quickly now that filming started. Action. Jenkins! Jenkins! You carry on doing that, you find yourself in detention for a week, my boy. Then your slappings won't be so happy then, will it? See me in my office at lunchtime. Officer! Don't you mean last storeroom? Don't get smart with me, lad. And you too! Anti Darville! And see me in my office as well. Good. We've just finished a, a, a couple of scenes, the first couple of scenes, which was, was okay. Uh, it went well. We were just doing some scenes, me and this girl, Naomi. <laughs> and we improvised a little bit to make it a little bit funnier. And the director said, cool man, that was great, you know. What was interesting throughout the three day shoot is that you didn't really need much direction. Um, it's just a couple of, give me a couple of nods and glances and then he'd take it over himself and he'd add this kind of comic humor to it. So I was really pleased with that. Well, we're here on set, I mean, um, first day of shooting, it's going pretty good. Pretty happy with my part. I'm a bit of a, a bully, a bit of a guy, like the, the main guy in school. This is good, you know, and uh, I know it's good. It's really good atmosphere here today, you know. I think I'm an idiot. They show me no respect, and then I have to resort to desperate measures to make them understand. I'm playing old Tom, the caretaker, as you can see, room, and I'm a Bit of a sweepy yappy, really. I'm just just a cleaner. I teach what Warren how to uh, be nice to the children because he's a bit bad tempered and he's um, loses his temper over the children. I so say be nice to them. But they all hate me. The pupils, Jeremy, the school head. They're not your enemies, Warren. You're your own worst enemy. So what do I do now? Be brave. Talk to them. You must free the little ones. And remember, I will always be there. We finished shooting on the They Might Be Giants. We finished shooting earlier on today. And it went okay. It's a bit sad, really, to finish filming like that. I, well, I feel a bit lonely now. But it was okay. It was a lot of fun. Um, we had one last bloody shot just before we finished in the bloody closet. We had about, like, ten... Ten of us big guys in this closet, and I mean, it was tight. I was in a awkward position, as you guys will probably see. Can we come out now, sir? Christie's finished, but there's still a bit of work to be done before we get to see the film. 
The editing process was very good. We had about two and a half days for a 10 minute short, so that's not bad going. Um, I do love the process of editing. Um, the decision making in that and creating the story, the structure. Because um, at first we stuck to the structure of the script. Um, and then we went through that and realized that Warren wasn't getting crazy enough throughout the day, so we completely threw the script out the window and then changed the whole structure and we think we've got a better film for it. My God, man. They pulled it off, you know? Hoo ha, they pulled it off. It's absolutely a gold mine, honestly, for, for people to get this kind of experience, you know, proper professional film crews. It's un unbelievable, really. You know what I mean? I've, I've heard guys say this is something like they've never seen before. I mean, because I'm I'm a gypsy and I've never went to school really, you know. So I've never I didn't know I don't know too much about it. And for these people who've been to school and said, look what we're doing, that kind of thing. So it must be something really good. And it, for me, it's unbelievable. It's the real deal, you know. You know, you're on a professional film set. You're doing professional things. That, yeah, you mean that's the benefit there, you know. You're sort of learning to be a sculptor by sculpting. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I don't know if that's my final little bit of a video diary or not. Yeah, over and out. Over and out. Oh, cheer up, Christy. Next time we'll be following the six short films produced by It's My Shout in 2006. Join us then. <laughs>